the Biden family, frankly, is just a web of concealment, of deception. So a lot of people would say corruption. But let's be very clear. You have this many companies involved with this velocity of transactions, size of transactions. Like my colleagues have said, this is not how normal businesses operate. Um, I had the ability uh, with Chairman Comer and other members of the committee to go over to the Treasury building and review documents. And having read those documents, one thing is became pretty crystal clear that there were many people who had serious questions about the transactions and about the velocity of these transactions, and they either get very, very, very deep into concealment, hiding money, shifting money, um, and for the purpose, we don't know, because one thing everybody in this room and the American people definitely know is that the Biden family doesn't really have a business. There is no business structure around this family, except politics. And since Joe Biden has spent decades in the Senate, served eight years as vice president, and is now president of the United States, and the family's getting money from various countries and foreign businesses through various shell companies and this web of LLCs. I mean, guys, you in the press, this is easy pickings. I'm giving you Pulitzer stuff here. Like, all you have to do is literally look at our memo and see the level of detail upon which they have created this. And it's very, it's very, very frustrating. We have now been able to clearly see that the Biden's associates, like Rob Walker, Eric Sherman, has been discussed, created at least 16 companies while Joe Biden was vice president of the United States. 16, 16. companies created while well, he was vice president. vice president. Now the list is 20, and as we continue our investigation, that list is growing. And like I said before, the question is to serve what purpose? And the purpose of all these companies being created is to conceal money that the Biden family has been gain, gain, gaining because Joe Biden has been sitting at the upper echelon of our politics for almost five decades. That is the entire.